Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to discuss uh, something very important for your research that is often ignored by student researchers or early career researchers and uh, the topic here is that do you need to conduct a pilot study before you carry out your main experiment or conduct your main uh, data collection. So the answer is that I always recommend uh, to my students to carry out a pilot study it is very very important because a pilot study helps you to recognize the flaws in your research design right from the sample that you have chosen the research question all the way to the data that you're collecting the format of the questionnaire your data analysis method and whether you can get the answer to your research question from the data that you have collected now what happens is that often researchers overlook this this is often because um, PhD students they have a lack of time sometimes they don't have enough time for them to carry out a pilot study uh, find out the flaws in the research design and correct on it and then implement a, another research design uh, because they are under the the pump the time uh, the time restrictions and they have a limited three to four years to complete their studies and uh, sometimes other researchers don't do it because they are always feeling the pressure of publishing their research carrying out an experiment in a rush and then uh, trying to publish papers out there because it is requirement of their jobs or because a requirement of their career prospects or or the department or the research area that they are in now although people overlook it i find that it is a very important aspect the pilot study is the most important aspect of your research before you actually conduct an experiment or do your research uh, data collection and the reason is that even though i am a supervisor and i supervise my students with two other supervisors or sometimes another supervisor uh, when we go through the questionnaire let's start from the questionnaire itself that when they when we go through the questionnaire often we find uh, some mistakes in the questionnaire that has been designed by the phd student but our knowledge is uh, limited as well it is better that the questionnaire goes out to a group of people who can be identified as participants in a pilot study and when they who go through the questionnaire they may find uh, other mistakes or uh, they may uh, highlight the questions which are a bit uh, dubious in nature or which are leading or which are double barreled uh, so you know we need to design a questionnaire that is very easy to understand for the respondents they are in no ambiguity when they are answering the question and the responses you get from the respondents helps you to get the answer to your research question so here it is also very important that when the pilot study is conducted it should be conducted amongst a uh, amongst people who represent your sample size because if you do it amongst researchers many people do it many people just do a pilot study amongst uh, their peers although their peers may not be the uh, a, a, a part of the sample so that sometimes is done um, nothing wrong with it but i recommend to my students is that they should conduct a mini pilot study even if it is between 6 to 12 participants but the participants who are part of the pilot study should ideally be part of the bigger sample so you don't have to collect data from them again uh, when you are collecting data from the bigger sample but uh, if you target the people who will ideally represent your bigger sample then the responses the feedback the comments that you will get uh, will be appropriate so often uh, survey uh, questions are related to a particular industry or it may be a particular profession or a particular aspect of uh, an operation uh, that may not be understood by respondents who are not going to be part of your sample so let's say that you are going to collect data from um, factory workers now if you collect data from your fellow researchers who have never worked in a factory or who have nothing to do with the industry then they will not be able to provide you with the correct feedback that you need so ideally try to conduct the pilot study amongst a group of small group of people who would have ideally been part of your sample if you were collecting data um, also make sure that you are very open to feedback from your respondents because if your respondents feel that you cannot uh, accept the feedback or you are being defensive about your questionnaire or you are being defensive about your research design they may refrain from giving you feedback and that is not good for, for your research 
you have to be very open minded you have to be able to accept the constructive criticism that comes your way and then use that to correct the questionnaire because at the end of the day you want the questionnaire to go out to the right sample and be able to collect the data that you need to answer your research question so a pilot study also helps you to refine your research question because often when the responses come back and you start looking at the responses there will be times when you realize that your survey doesn't get you the answer to your research question so either you have to change the survey or you have to change the research question depending on which one is easier for you to change so also look at when you get the data back from the pilot study respondents you also have to look at how you go about analyzing the data because sometimes we collect the data that we want but then we have no idea on how to analyze it or when we analyze it we are struggling to analyze it at a depth to which it is required to answer your research question so a surface analysis is not enough for you to be able to justify your findings to your reviewer or examiners this is especially the case when you are publishing research um, in a, uh, your phd research research that is going to be uh, or even uh, research that is going to be reviewed by examiners so uh, if the examiners feel that the analysis you have conducted on the data is at a very surface level you have not considered the uh, extraneous variables you have not considered the variables that influence your research but do not have a direct relationship between the independent and dependent variable then they will frown upon it so a pilot study helps you to identify uh, whether that the data that you have collected is not only uh, being able to analyze it but you can analyze it to a depth which helps you to um, get the answers to your research question so many students often complain to me that they don't want to conduct a pilot study because of a lack of time and students often ask me that is a pilot study required for every research now the answer to this question from my side is that it is better for every research study to conduct a pilot study because many experiments are often experiment uh, many experiments are often uh, very um, expensive uh, and they are time consuming and if you do not conduct a pilot study uh, doing that main experiment on the day and you may face failure you may face some technical issues you may face issues that you have not thought of you didn't comprehend you didn't plan for and then your experiment becomes a failure or it leads to the waste of time and resources so it is better for you to conduct a pilot study no matter what kind of research you are in so that you can identify any um, any deficiencies or any flaws or any challenges that might come up on the day of the main experiment or on the day of the main data collection uh, and that can help you to uh, protect yourself from uh, wasting your time and resources however there are of course many research areas where a pilot study is not conducted and the reason i have told you before is firstly if there are time restrictions uh, if you will not have access to the uh, particular pa uh, participants um, and they are very exclusive research participants and they will not give you access to um, uh, you don't have access to them so you are restricted with time often uh, there are uh, reasons of confidentiality as well uh, and privacy as well that often some researchers don't like to reveal uh, their questionnaire or their study or uh, what they intend to do to any participant so that the news about their experiment is not leaked that could be because of the nature of the experiment or what they are trying to find out uh, because often researchers uh, deal with certain kind of research topics which are private which are confidential and uh, which require to be protected from the knowledge of everyone out there so it is particularly for a certain group of people they want to conduct a research for them and they don't want uh, it the information about their research to be leaked to anyone um, so they don't want to conduct a pilot study as well so um, uh, but more often or times you will see that most of the senior researchers will recommend you to carry out a pilot study because uh, it helps you to identify the flaws in your research so let me know what area of research you guys are in and whether you did a pilot study or not and if you did not do one why didn't you do it so that will help us to gain knowledge about the different types of research which is out there and why people do or don't carry out pilot study so thank you for watching today's video guys share like subscribe and comment and i will see you soon with my next video bye for now